Hey there guys, welcome to part two of my big August uh, update. Now I'm going to focus on Blu-rays and I'm hoping against hope I can get all these in one video. So I'll get straight on to it. Now I'm going to call this video a double dipping because I've found I think I've got a uh, few that have been that I've got on Steelbook and Amore. So the first one of those is uh, Place Beyond the Pines, uh, Steelbook and regular Amore. This is Blu-ray, this is Blu-ray DVD. Uh, favourite film of the year. I honestly don't think that anything will top this film for me. I'm not going to get into why I like it, but I guess I'll just start gushing. But anyway, amazing film. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. It's an absolute masterpiece in my eyes. And uh, so yeah, I really like the. Uh, I say really like the films. I thought I might as well get. I really wanted to see book, still book anyway, but honestly, the Amory as well, which I did do. So that's the first uh, double dip. And then the second double dip, if I can find them. Uh, you don't want to see down here because it is quite horrible. Right, let me see. Yep, found it. So the next uh, double diff I have is um, Evil Dead Steelbook and the same as exclusive two disc Amore version. Really like the, well I suppose I could call it a triple dip because I do actually have the US version which is actually happens to be right next to me. It did happen to be right next to me but it's next to me anyway. Uh, yeah, same, uh, same features and stuff. I'm not looking to sell this because I do I do like the kind of the thin case slip cover stuff. It's a little bit battered now, but anyway. But yeah, Steelbook and um, two disc presentation. Now, if you saw my um, unboxing, one thing that really fucking pissed me off was uh, two scratches. Uh, called the, well, they're actually paint chips technically, but uh. and also it's kind of annoying that that um, Studio Canal logo is in like that bright bright white lettering which is kind of annoying but really nice pretty nice still look though I was hoping it was a little bit be a little bit kind of more vibrant but anyway so yeah really good film again if you haven't checked it out if you're a horror fan well, if you're a horror fan you probably have checked it out but anyway please, uh, really do it's a really good film put those three to the side uh, speaking of Evil Dead next up we have uh, Evil Dead Trilogy this is the Studio Canal re-release really nice set this I love the fact that um, there's different artwork on the discs I really like kind of correspond to the uh, film posters and stuff. So yeah, like I say, really nice set. 15 quid, you can't go wrong. The only one I actually own on Blu-ray is Evil Dead 2, which I might, the Amory option might sell, but I'm not quite sure yet. So yeah, uh, these again aren't in any order. But, uh, oh actually no, wait, there's another double dip. Well, technically it is. Uh, there is the Jungle Book Steelbook, which I haven't unsealed. But there's a pretty savage spine slash on the side, so I probably won't do in the near, in the near future. But I've had a lot, heard a lot of other things that people have that the embossing's been off, but this one's all right. And also the uh, Amore version as well. Obviously, I'll watch this one and keep this one sealed for now. I might open it sooner, down, later down the line, but I'm not in any rush to. So yeah, Jungle Book, Steel Book, and Amore. And then we have the debut film of Darren Aronofsky. We have Pi on Blu-ray. It's a new to Blu-ray release. Uh, I remember watching this on DVD quite a few years ago, not understanding a word of it. So I'll check this out in the near future. Uh, Darren Aronofsky, really good director. Uh, again, I've watched this for a few years, so I don't know if it's his, 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 like, kind of like his greatest film or anything. But anyway, we'll be watching that soon enough. Now next up we have the uh, region free US Blu-ray of Street Trash, the special meltdown edition. meltdown edition. Now I don't really know what I feel about this film, I watched it the other week and um, basically he has some kind of questionable material in it. Basically this this hobo guy has sex with this guy's girlfriend and then afterwards these kind of homeless guys kind of drag her off, rape her, gang rape her, kill her and then the that fat guy out of um, Toxic Avenger kind of starts having sex with his dead body, which I don't know, which I didn't really kind of like, but again, it's a good film and everything, really good special effects, looks really good on Blu-ray for 1987, but pretty good, I won't be selling this, but I don't think I'll be kind of watching it kind of a lot of times. And next up we have another uh, region free US release, we have uh, Robin Hood. My second favourite Disney film after Aladdin. It's kind of ironic because I only actually paid kind of two or three pounds more for this than what they're selling the uh, Amore version in the UK for. Well, at least on um, 
in H and B selling for twenty quid. I thought, fuck you. So again, I only ended up paying like maybe not quite five pounds more for this version, which I actually kind of prefer. I like I love these kind of thin case versions, nice slip cover and everything. Put those to the side there. I'm gonna have to speed up a bit because I'm pretty sure this is gonna go over fifteen minutes. But anyway, next little bit of hijacking. Really good film. Saw it in the cinema uh, this year, and I watched it again on Blu-ray uh, a couple of days ago. Really, kind of a master masterclass in kind of tension, kind of claustrophobic drama about this um, this boat that gets taken over by Sol uh, Somali pirates, and this kind of guy who is um, the kind of negotiator between the pirates and um, the company they want to get the ransom money from. But really, really good. It is a Danish film. Yeah, Danish film. Really good from the creators of um, Borgen and the Hunt. So I haven't watched those, but I'm in any rush to. Uh, next up, uh, this is 40. Watch this for, I believe, my last first watch video. And uh, really enjoyed this one. Judd Apatow at his best. Really enjoyed it. This is 40. Really good film. If you're a fan of Judd Apatow, you've probably seen it already. But if you haven't, do check it out. It's very good. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would do. Next up, uh, Demolition Man. Never seen this film, but I'm a big fan of kind of the cheesy uh, kind of 90s action films. So I thought pick it up. People have said uh, had good things about this, so uh, be checking that out soon enough. Our next one, um, I don't have many Marvel films on Blu-ray, but this is now one of them. Is Iron Man One? Uh, so it's a guy on AB Four and selling this for five pounds. I thought might as well get it. Uh, yeah, I've seen. I haven't seen the first one or the second one. I've seen the third one. I've seen the Avengers, and the less I talk about that, the better. But anyway. Very good, very good things about this one. And uh, next up, we have probably one of my favourite slipcovers of the year. I actually love this one. Um, is the I always thought that was an O, but it's a D. The Diatlov Pass Incident, um, directed by Rennie Harlin. And uh, one thing I kind of noticed that I think on the, the kind of the front of it, that's supposed to be a mountain screaming, but for me, it looks like that's just it's just someone's closed mouth and that's the kind of the bot the um kind of the bottom lip that's just the lips kind of closed but it's supposed to be a scream but I can't really see it. And that's supposed to be your teeth but anyway, the teeth. And again, I mean how cool is that slip cover? It turns from red turns the right in from white to red and red to white is really nice slip cover. Now, I've heard kind of mixed things about this, some people love it, some people hate it. So I'll hopefully be checking that out soon enough. I don't know why Jim Atkins is in that though. Uh, next up, Halloween 2. Uh, I haven't seen it, but people don't rate this film at all. But I think I quite like the first one. Uh, next up, Turing Horse, Artif Artificial Eye Release. Uh, CEX saw this for, it was first it was £12, then it was £10, then it was £8. I got it was £8, so pretty pleased with that. Uh, Revolutionary Road for £2.50. Again, sourcing kind of CEX, I thought I might as well pick it up. I'm seeing this at the cinema whenever it came out. I'll be able to look up the date. Uh, next up, uh, The Hunt. I uh, wanted to check this out for a long time. Haven't watched it quite yet, but will do soon. Uh, people rate this very, very highly. So hopefully will be watching that soon enough. And then uh, Spring Breakers, the ultimate, well, well just two disc edition. Uh, really good um, features on this. I really want to listen to the commentary track by Harmony Corinne, which I will do soon enough. And then in the, in the, in the Valley of Alar, I think it's Alar, Alar, whatever. Um, someone selling this for two pounds again on AV forums. Actually, the same guy that was selling um, Iron Man, so I got it kind of in a bought buy. But yeah, I haven't heard too many things about that. And uh, uh, the take, uh, say, I think four part mini series, maybe three, um, about kind of gangland. Kind of, it's based on the book by, Mar by Martina Cole. Pretty, really pretty good though. So yeah, next up is a uh, season one of uh, Veep. It's basically. Um, the thick of it US more or less but without Malcolm Tucker um, yeah really good I watched this when it was on TV I think watched the first think three or four episodes then I kind of like kept forgetting to watch it so I thought there's no point kind of catching up on it now so I'll be watching that hopefully I might watch some of these today actually so yeah last uh, regular Amore we have a flight so it's on play.com one day deal £8.99 so I thought I'd have to pick it up I heard a lot of good of a lot of very good things about this and Denzel Washington earned an Oscar nomination for his performance. Next up I have a couple of uh, Digibooks, well Studio Cal Digibooks, we have The Elephant Man and Mulhall and Drive, very nice uh, kind of sets, they have kind of open up that way. 
Okay, the booklet and stuff. Very, very good film this. I haven't actually watched this since I watched it on TV, kind of a couple of years ago, so I believe it was pretty good though. And the last things for this update, or this part of this update, we have a couple of steelbooks. Uh, first up we have uh, Time Bandits, very, very nice, nice and colourful and just really kind of nice finish on it. It's only matte finish, but it's really nice. Uh, really cool artwork on the on the front and it's just kind of blank on the back, but really nice. One of the better steelbooks I own. Uh, probably my second favourite um, Arrow video steelbook after um, Zombie Flesh Eaters, but then very nice. And then another Arrow steelbook we have, oops, wrong way, I'll take the thing off, uh, Fall of the House of Usher. Uh, a bit disappointed it's a, um, a, uh, a landscape Blu-ray, or a landscape steelbook, but not going to complain about it too much. So yeah, that'll do for this part. Our next part would, will be DVDs. Hopefully I can get through them in one video, again like this one. So until then, please rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.